Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trinket, and yes, this is another segment of Wake Up With Trinket, and I salute each and every one of you amazing people out there. How are you guys doing today? It is Wednesday already, right? <laughs> it's Wednesday, guys, the middle of the week. Where are you at in your mindset? Where are you guys at? I know you guys are winning, right? Because if you're not winning, then what are you doing? <laughs> so, what's going on, guys? It's Wednesday. You guys ready for it? You guys doing it? You guys ready for Friday? You ready for the weekend? Can you see that far right now? Are we taking it one day at a time? Where are you at today in your mindset? Is it all positive words? Have you let some people get to you today? And if you did, did you quiet your mind and kind of just brushed it off and resumed your amazing day? Or did you let it get to you and you allowed them to just rob you and deplete you of all your goodness and joy? For that moment anyway. <laughs> Because there's no limit of goodness and there's no limit of joy. Just like there's no limit of sorrow. It's there in abundance. So don't let anybody rob you from your good day, your good time. Um, and that big, beautiful smile that you guys have. Bless somebody with that today. <laughs> It's always better to greet someone with a smile than to uh, greet someone that's looking, you know, like they're at a funeral, all serious. And so, um, and we know that, you know, we give leeway. People have things that they come to work with and, you know, things they could have just heard something five minutes ago. So, you know, we give some leeway, you know, we have some understanding. But I'm talking about when you're consistently, you know, just doom and gloom. Who wants that, right? And you're way too good to put yourself through some stuff like that. Depression, what? <laughs> What's depression? What is that? Man, we, have, we are victorious creatures. We are victorious beings. We are mighty. We are strong. What's, what's depression? We stomp on depression. We tread on depression. <laughs> we eat depression for breakfast and spit it out. What? You know what I'm saying? It's like this virus has no hold on us. Anything on the outside. Depression is a mindset of just negative thinking from things that you've seen on the outside that you let get to you. But see, we're too strong for that. And we're too smart for that. Because now we really see and we're not just seeing with, you know, these two eyes right here, but we're seeing with that third eye. <laughs> so it puts us ahead of the game because we understand that our thoughts are creating our reality regardless of what it looks like. And if we got it down now and, and if we're, you know, doing all the steps and we, we have no doubt, and we believe in what we're saying this Wednesday, guys. <laughs> if we believe in what we're saying, regardless of what it looks like, because you see, that's the test. The test is it always has to look off. And then that's how your faith gets tested, because you then have to be like, oh, man, this is what I see. And it doesn't look like it's going to work, but boom, it kicks in and you're like, you know what? But I don't care what I see. I'm going to wash that away. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to mentally just brush that away. And I'm going to stand firm and put my feet in concrete. Okay. We're standing in concrete guys because we're victorious beings. We're unstoppable. 
We're mighty. We're everything everybody wants to be. They want to know, how do you get that joy? How do you sow the seed of love all the time, continuously, constantly? How do you do it? <laughs> how are you happy? Um, how are you this and how are you that? They're going to want to know, guys, how we do this. Because they're going to want this. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to show them. Because that's just who we are, right? <laughs> oh, man, I love this. I love this family. I love this community. I love, I love it. I love this water. This is water, guys. This is living water. This is what the Bible calls living water. You'll never thirst again. You know why? We will never thirst again. You know why, guys? Because with this knowledge, this God power living with inside of us, and with the knowledge and the understanding of how to use this, to, of, of how to use it, and we have the wisdom, so we have wisdom, knowledge with understanding. <sighs> We're good to go, guys. Seriously, think about it. Think about the weight lifted off of you, the stress. Why? Because why are you stressing? What's stress? Stress? Stress what? <laughs> we ain't stressing nothing because we're not holding any negative thoughts. We put that over there with doubt. We're throwing that over there with all that other with all those uh, limitation words, because we don't believe in limitations. We are limitless. We are not limited to nothing. We are limitless. We are powerful. We are power. We are drinking a living water. And with this knowledge, wisdom, with understanding, we will be able to obtain anything we want. Therefore, we will never <laughs> Listen to this. We will never, ever thirst again. Because we know how to obtain it. We know how to obtain what? We know how to obtain happiness, genius. <laughs> happiness, love, joy, peace. Peace when everybody's in chaos. Um rest when people are having restless nights restless nights fear when we will be fearless when we are fearless and so many are living in fear coronavirus corona what <laughs> i'm throwing that junk over there in the junk pile too <laughs> then we're gonna hit the button and delete all this garbage because we're better than that. And we don't need any of that stuff that's going to hold us down, hold us back. And if people can't see that in us, so be it. We love them anyway, but from a distance. See ya. Because I'm not going, we are not going to allow people to drain our good energy for their negative energy knowing they're not even trying to do better. See, I'm looking for those that are looking for this knowledge. I'm looking for those that are looking to want to get better. I'm looking for those that are looking to want to improve on their life and be 100. Just be real. Be able to be free. How many people do you know that are free? I mean, really free. Not worried about who's looking. Not worried about who knows? I mean, not sneaking and creeping around free. How many people are free? <laughs> they're, already, they're always worried about who's thinking what and, and, and how, the, how this person feels or how that person feels. I could care less. And I mean that in love, but I 
really could care less. If they don't get you, and then so be it. Bless them and keep doing you. Because laws of attraction, you're gonna you're going to continue to attract goodness, wonderful people, and wonderful things in your life because you are thinking good thoughts. So many people do not think good thoughts, guys. And then they wonder why their life is just like spiraling down or it's chaotic. And if they're honest, that's what I mean. Free. Don't sell yourself on religion. Half truths. But free yourself. And drink this living water. And be free. Free from all of the things that hold you down, <clears throat> that weigh you down, that drain you from your energy, that, that make you tired and weak. And whenever you're feeling weak, you repeat quickly, I am strong. Anything you attach I am to, you will become. So stop talking negative and saying, I'm slow, I'm always forgetting. Kill that noise. You're a king, you're a queen. You're awesome. I don't care what anybody says. You're awesome. And you only say good things about yourself. I'm smart, I'm intelligent. Yeah, I, I might have forgot something. But you know what? When you forget it, you say, you know what? I forgot that, but my memory is always getting better. You say things like, I used to forget a lot. Because when you say I used to, that means that you no longer. So you're telling your subconscious, you no longer forget. How wonderful is that, right? These little things that just change your whole life. And we go so much of our life and don't even know this. That these little things with practice change our whole life. Anything you attach I am to, you become. So attach I am to nothing but amazing things. And you will become each and every one of them. Say it long enough, whether you believe it or not, and you will become it. It will be shaping you and forming you into those things that you are self-proclaiming daily. You, my friend, will become. <laughs> How easy is that? No tuition. No college loans, nothing to pay back. You just keep getting better. How wonderful is that? I mean, this is awesome. I love this knowledge. I love this walk. I love this way of life. It's a way of life. I love it. And I love sharing it. And I love helping anyone that desires this knowledge. Because that means you're awake. That means that you you have awakened. That that desire, that God in you is desiring to expand. So expand that consciousness. Let's get that subconsciousness in that consciousness all in agreement and not divide it. And let's get the words we say all in agreement with the things that we think. So there's nothing divided in our house, in our home here. I'm telling you guys, all it does is cost you time and patience. Because you're going to have to have patience. Because people are going to be like, and then you're going to ask yourself, while well, I'm doing it, it isn't here yet. All right, well, there's lessons in this that you still have to learn. And it's still going to take the path of the least resistance. And so you still may have some things in you that you have to work out. But trust me, 
it is coming and all of it is coming so make sure that you are planting amazing seeds in your garden because when they sprout and that plant grows it is coming back to the cinder and the cinder is you all of you so why not write yourself a love letter a, a love letter why not write yourself a love letter a juicy good wonderful love letter because that's karma that you're putting out there that has to come back why not plant yourself a seed of love of prosperity of good health and when that seed grows and it's ripe and fully grown it's coming back to the one that planted it so why not plant a beautiful seed of patience of prosperity of generosity why not <laughs> You deserve it to yourself because you're already these things. Just took a little small detour. Some of us forgot. And now we're now we're in a stage of remembering. So let's remember. Let's get what's ours. And let's get it while the getting is good. And just keep going. Because we are not going to let any lack, any limitations of any kind stop us we're not even going to let any negative people people want to play games don't play them don't even put up with them if you put up with them even a little bit that says something about you that you don't know who you are yet don't play any games they either respect you on your terms or they don't don't leave room for negativity to come in because somebody isn't there yet and they want to play games. They want to hide. You know, just people got a lot of issues and we love them because these are just different states, different states, different doors that people have either stumbled in by accident or walked in purposely because this is who they wanted to be and now they're they're in it and if you walk in a negative state guys and then all you have off the shelf to pick is just negative relu uh, uh, resolutions which won't really resolve anything but that's all you got because in a negative state you can't pick love love doesn't exist on the shelf forgiveness nah, it doesn't exist on the shelf hate, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, all that is what you have to pick from. We have to pick from when we allow ourselves to be drawn into a state of negativity. Then we're in a store that only offers up negative resolutions, which are no resolutions on the shelf and we don't want to be in that place and we have the free will walking in our God consciousness who we truly are guys we have the free will to just leave that state and walk into another state we are all winners we're gonna keep drinking this living water because we're never gonna thirst again. Sicknesses are leaving now, right now. People are getting better right now. Mentally, spiritually, physically, right now. They're getting better right now. Let me tell you something, guys. Whenever I read your comments and I read anything that sounds negative or you're hurting or or sickness or whatever weight whatever i immediately revise it in my mind and i see it as <clears throat> i want to see it i read it as it telling me good news about you 
on whatever you were telling me. And I know that it's already going to happen. I know that it's already happened because I know how strong my belief is. So if I see it, and then I know it's done. But I know you guys are also seeing it too. And so with both of us seeing it, and all of our energies pulling together, it is a wrap. It is a done deal. We are charged up and ready. Yes, we are. We are the new generation. We are. We are the new generation drinking this living water. We are the ones awakened, walking on the surface. We used to be. We used to be at that. We used to be um, walking below the surface and doubt, thinking everything on the outside was what was affecting us. And we walked in darkness and we had no light. And how dark was the dark in our heart? Not this heart here. <laughs> and it was extremely dark. But now we're on the surface and we're awakened and we're amongst others that are awakening and we are drinking the spiritual living water, knowledge, wisdom, understanding of how it truly really works. And we have cut away from all religion, which religion is anything that does not set you free. And we are set free and we are expanding on a day-to-day -day basis, consciously and subconsciously. Yes, we are. And it's awesome because we're all doing it together. So we're not alone. <laughs> hey guys, I want to mention too, real quick, all you guys that are took the uh, challenge to lose the weight, um, eating out of the saucer like I have, um, I commend all of you, ba ba ba, bam! I mean, all of you, because I already know the results that each and every one of you are gonna get. And they're gonna be amazing results because I got amazing results. And I know you're gonna get re amazing results because the God in you is the same God in me and there is no respect of person. How awesome is that? Which means if you're willing to do it, you'll get the results. I was willing to do it. I'll get the results. Anybody else that's willing to put in the work would get the result. And this is not physical work, guys. Everything we do mentally always comes with these. Always comes the path of least resistance. Always comes with the ease. Because the God in us, the Jesus in in us that's making all these things happen for us. He is the power. You can call him whatever name you want to call him. <laughs> if that makes you feel some kind of woo, it's all good. Call him whatever you want to call him. It's still one person that did everything that made you extremely special and awesome and amazing. And that's why your your value is, is just so high. Never let anybody undervalue you. Never again. Because you are so worthy. Never say that I am not worthy. Because God does not make not worthy uh, 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 kids. We are his children. We're the children of the universe. Children of God children of Christ. We are I am who lives within us. And anything like I said earlier, you touch I am to you and I will become as long as we never doubt it. And you know what we did with doubt. We threw that junk over there in the junk pile along with the virus, along with fear, Along with, with what? Depression? What? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Is that a drink? <laughs> I'll take a shot. 
There's nothing on the outside that can hurt us. Nothing on the outside that can harm us. Nothing on the outside that can cause false evidence appearing real to happen in our lives, which is fear. We put a shield of protection around us. How do we do that? By closing our eyes and we just see a, a whirlwind. We see a shield, a shield of protection of our God power protection. Just, just circle it, circle, uh, circulating around us, circling around us like a whirl, like a whirlpool, like a whirlwind. That's what we see. And we're protected throughout our whole day. And with our positive talk and our positive thinking and sowing the seed of love, whoo, we are winning. How can you lose? You can't lose. So don't let anybody get you down and don't put up with anybody's BS. Not even that much of it. Because that, that means you just let that much of goodness go out so you can have that much of negativity come in that'll grow into who knows how much. Meditate, guys. I meditate all the time, constantly. I love it. I'm in my meditation room right now. <laughs> I love meditating. It's the most powerful tool on the planet here that we can use to obtain and get into our vibration to obtain what we want. So please, if you don't meditate, start to meditate. And please, if you don't do affirmations, start to do affirmations, positive affirmations. Whether you believe it or not, who cares? You continue to say it. I gotta post my board. I got so many of them. But I got to post the first one that I ever did. I don't need them now because everything's in my mind and my heart. But um, but I still have them. And so I think that'll be kind of neat to post. But you want to just deprogram your negative ways. And that's all we're doing. Everything's a program. That's all. Everything's a program. You feed your dog a certain way, they'll come every... They'll always come that certain way to get fed. You feed your cat a certain way, that cat will always come a certain way at a certain time to get fed because everything is a program, guys. So all we're doing is programming ourselves with repetition words. Say these words constantly all the time. I am love. I am powerful. Today is a great day. Today I have victory in every area of my life. Today, doors of opportunity are awaiting me today something wonderful is happening to me now and it feels so good why because we always bask in the glory of knowing that whatever we put out there already we know that it's ours so that's why we're already happy when we don't see it that's why we're already happy because we are believers. We are the new generation. We are the new movement. We're drinking the living water. We have the wisdom, the knowledge with the understanding. We are believers. And it's not how much you go to church. It's not how much money you give. It's not how much tithing you do in church. It is not how many Bible studies you attend. It is not how many ways you're reading the Bible and not really understanding it still. It's none of that. It's all belief. Belief is the key. Your belief is your wand. Your belief is your key. Your belief will bring you your good and you're bad. And on that note, guys, you guys are all amazing. I can feel your energy. I'm taking it with me today. <laughs> and I'm going to share it with everyone. Greet everyone with a smile. 
sow a seed of love. It's going to only come back to me. Who doesn't want more love in their life, right? And you guys all stay amazing, which I know you will. You're all royalty. All of us. Walking on the surface. Drinking this living water. And we're all staying amazing. While we're all awakening and expanding together. And until next time, this is Trick It with Wake Up with Trick It. Peace out. And a big ball salute to each and every one of you because you're all bosses, whether you know it or not. Peace. <laughs>